Diversity needs a spark, and that spark is inclusion. Today's business climate looks to embrace the idea that a more diverse workforce is a good thing, one that should be promoted, encouraged, developed, and explored. In larger organizations, along with the traditional role of VP of HR or CHRO, a VP of Diversity and Inclusion or Chief Diversity Officer often sits as well, confirming the increasing significance of this area of workforce development. The move towards embracing diversity has been a long time coming, but it's certainly here. Diversity without inclusion, however, is an empty promise. And benefiting from a diverse workforce is often not achieved. A workforce of diverse backgrounds, genders, ethnicities, and communication styles simply achieves, well, just that. It's a room, a building, a company with diversity in it, but not necessarily extracting the performance benefits of diversity out of it. It's only when the organization, its leaders, its teams, and its culture embrace a culture of inclusion that the business benefits of diversity can be enjoyed. It's inclusion that is the spark for diversity. At Lead Inclusively, we help develop inclusive organizations so that the promise of diversity has the resounding impact on business performance we're all looking for. The recruitment, retention, and advancement of a diverse workforce, increased innovation and employee engagement, and better business performance year on year. All of our work is metric driven, and companies across the world have already experienced the depth and wealth of benefits resulting from our work. To get business performance from diversity, you need the spark of inclusion. To build inclusive leaders, you need Lead Inclusively. <laughs>